Hey there, it's Jenny and I am back with a plan with me in my Hobonichi Cousin. This is an A5 and I'm going to use these stickers from Dolce Planner and then these mild liners. I am drawing in the boxes first, which newsflash isn't the way I usually start. I usually start with my washi first, so now I'm going to go ahead and do that. I don't know what got into me. Anyway, so then when I lay down this washi, I realize that the yellow mild liner that I selected is not the right one. I have two yellow, a really bright, cheerful yellow, and then a little bit more of a yellow that is kind of like a golden yellow, like this, like the banana. So I pulled that out. At first, I traced over the original box so that it would be the right color. And then I'm going through and drawing in the boxes. Now you can see right there, I alternate because on the opposite, I'm going to put in green boxes because the stickers are both green and yellow. Now you can see I messed up and put two next to each other. I can't even begin to tell you why I did that. It just happened and I've never done that before which is also so weird but it's fine. Everything's fine. It's gonna be fine at the end of the week. I'm sure of it. I also screwed up at the top there as well. You can see I made the box on Saturday smaller. I Again, I can't explain it. I've never had that happen before, but it happened and I'm going to deal with it because there's no other opportunity. Since this is a bound planner, I can't take the page out and, you know, move something around or add some other page or something like that. So I am just going to make the best of it. And I am pretty sure that at the end of the week it's going to be all right like it's going to look fine and be fine so I'll just keep telling myself that. I decided this week to use the ruler to draw the dashed lines. I really do think it's super cute and fun. I do kind of think occasionally about maybe switching it up and going back to my other way of planning in this, you know, just the way I plan in my regular planner. However, I'm still having lots of fun with the boxes so probably not quite yet. I don't know. I guess we'll see. So I sometimes use the ruler, sometimes I don't. It really just depends on my mood and if I feel like it. And I decided today that that seemed like a pretty good idea. So I've got those all lined up and newsflash, I think it goes faster when I use the ruler, honestly. Now I'm trying to get the bigger girl off. I wanted her to go down there in the lower left-hand corner. However, I couldn't get her off the paper, so I'm using the smaller girl instead. Now I don't typically use girls or dolls in my planner. It's not really my thing, but I really like her stickers. They seemed super cute, so I decided to give them a try. So I layered the phrase on top of it and then added the little banana next to it. Newsflash, I love bananas. I love eating them. I like like art with bananas. I don't know why. I just find them really funny and enjoyable. And so that's why I'm using the banana kit. All right. So then in the center, I used that little box sticker and then I'm doing the same thing in the lower right. Now I couldn't get this one off the paper either. So what I did was I just used adhesive. I, I'm not sure how that's going to turn out because it's definitely kind of weird, but that was the only way I could get it off the sticker paper. It's probably just me. It's probably not the stickers themselves. I'm probably just having some user error. However, that was my experience. So now I'm filling in the boxes and I just go ahead and I add the activities. That's what this planner is. It is a week at a glance for me. In my daily planner, I keep up with all the things. So this works out great. Thanks so much for stopping by and watching. I really do appreciate it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the box below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks so much and make it a great day.